Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our mid-monthly readings. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, now as al always, keep in mind, take what resonates, watch all your signs. Um, I am running a limited time um, special. All the information is below in the description box or on my specials page on my website. And if you're new, say hi, like, share, subscribe, comment if you want. And thank you everyone for doing all of that. It helps me out a great deal. And let's just get started here. The Queen of Pentacles, so that's your energy. We'll see if you pop back up. I'm using the Radiant Rider Wait for you. What's going on for Taurus for the rest of August 2021? What's going on for Taurus for the rest of August 2021? Let's see. Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, The Magician, King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, Three Swords in the Outcome. I will clarify as we go. So this is the Seven of Swords. I'm going to say the Seven of Swords. We have the Page of Swords here. Seven of Swords is either deception or, or trust issues. Justice under the Page of Swords. Okay. Taurus, you could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or you're dealing with the legal system. Um a lot of communication thrown your way potentially conflict the page of swords is some information that is coming your way we also have the ace of swords in the past so the information that is coming your way is the truth okay truth is revealed as a result you walk away from what from something that you actually really love but because of this truth you have to go King of Wands in the foundation, Aries Leo Sagittarius at the bottom of everything, caused everything. Or this could also be someone who is seen as um, either a player or someone who's independent, someone who's already married. Crowning you, the magician, you're starting to, the, the way it's coming up now, you're looking at everything, questioning everything. It's almost like everything that you've seen so far, you saw through a particular lens, you saw it in, in, a, in a particular way. And because of this truth being revealed, now you're going back and you're like, oh, so that wasn't that, it was actually that. You know what I mean? In the near future, we do have the Ten of Swords. You are putting an end to a situation because truth is revealed. And it kills you to do it because you, true, you truly have feelings for this person or you truly love this whatever this is and you saw a great future or you saw great potential but you can't ignore what is being revealed so you're putting an end to the situation this is breakup this is divorce this is i quit this is yeah and the position representing you we do have the wheel of fortune so everything is feeling very up in the air right now you feel like you have no control over everything you feel like nothing is what you thought it was but at the same time with the Wheel of Fortune, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like despite everything that's going on, you kind of see, you may not see the reason yet, but you kind of see a progression, you kind of see a pattern. Or, you know, this would be, especially if, for example, you've been feeling like, oh, this is great and I feel happy, but then there was something there. There was a but there. You couldn't put your finger on it, but there was something there. And now that this is all revealed, you're like, I knew there was something there. There's got to be a reason for it, you know? And you're trying to go with, with the change. You're trying to go with the change. This is another 10. So you're putting an end to something and you're following through. Now in your environment, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a new beginning in your environment that is actually what you want. That is the solid offer. That is the grounded offer. That is the real offer, right? Because the Ace of Cups is wonderful, don't get me wrong, but if you've ever had a private reading with me, or you've watched me for a while, you will know that in love relationships, I will take the Ace of Pentacles over the Ace of Cups a hundred times over. Why? Tell you why. Because the Ace of Cups 
is beautiful. Do not get me wrong. It's amazing. It's out of this world, literally. But we don't live out of this world. We live in this world. And so when it's time to get back in, into reality, the Ace of Cups can't take it. It disintegrates. It dissipates. Does that make sense? It's like it's like puppy love. It's like your first love, you know, and you're young and you're excited and it's so awesome and so beautiful. But then it's kind of time to grow up a little bit when, when you have to grow up and it doesn't always work out, does it? And it's not to say the feelings aren't there. It's just it doesn't work out. Ace of Pentacles, on the other hand, you still have feelings there. You still have the love. But it's a lot more realistic. It's a, a lot more, it's thought out, right? What would it take for me to make this work? It's not, oh, I'm swept away by my emotion. I'm doing this. I'm saying it and not really thinking about everything. It's like, I feel emotion. I want this. I know I do. What would it take for me to get this? And once you think about that, then you think, okay, am I willing to put in that work? Yes, and that's when you make the offer with the Ace of Pentacles. So that's why I prefer the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups in a love relationship, and that is what is coming your way, okay? You were dealing with an Ace of Cups situation, which was beautiful, but it turns out it wasn't what it was promised to be. And there may have been flat out deceit or just half truths careful communication i can't say this because they'll they'll pick up on that and i can't say this because they'll ask that and i don't want them to ask that and kind of situation and for those of you someone told you they're divorced and they're not or someone told you they're broken up or they're getting divorced or they're single and they're not or someone told you they have this offer for you and they don't. Or it's not what they're talking about. Someone oversell. Sold. <laughs> someone oversold. And that is what is revealed. And there is no turning back for you, Taurus. You're like, nope, it's done. I don't care how I feel about this. This is ridiculous. This is unfair. I don't deserve this. I'm not going to waste my time. As soon as you do that, Ace of Pentacles comes in that's the offer hopes and fears we have the emperor this is what you want you don't want the ace, of the ace you don't want the king of wands it's a king don't get me wrong but kings still have stuff to work on they still have to develop because they only deal with bits and pieces here and there right their own little territory whereas the emperor he sees all he rules all the decisions that he has to make are for the greatest good of all and that's not always easy so he has wisdom he has a resilience he has a desire and not only a desire a responsibility to do the right thing that's a kind of different level right let's be honest this is the person coming in for you might be an aries doesn't have to be whoever this person is may have their own business they may be a father or a mother or a parent depending on who you're dealing with uh, they may have their own business or they're in a very high position within their role. Everyone goes to them for answers. Everyone goes to them for help. Um, very responsible. The emperor means what he says. Male or female, I don't care. They mean what they say. So when they offer you this, they mean it. That's exactly what you're getting. You get what you, you are told. Okay, You get what you see. That is in the hopes and fears. So... I feel like what has happened here has got you a little bit cautious. So you're like, it's almost like I'm almost afraid to hope again or to trust how I feel or what I see. Why? Because I trusted myself before and it turns out I wasn't things, seeing things correctly. I wasn't seeing the truth of the situation. So you're like, I want to hope for the best, but I don't trust myself <laughs> almost. A little bit, right? However, Taurus, what I would say to you is keep going. You turn your back and you walk away and you keep going. You don't look back. Whatever it is that you're leaving behind, it's not going to change. It's not going to get better. They're not going to overnight grow up. They're not going to overnight fulfill their promises to you. They had time to do that, right? Or they chose to tell you what they told you and not to tell you what they didn't tell you. Does that make sense? 
That was their choice, their conscious choice. It's not like, oh, I made a mistake or, oh, I didn't realize. No, it's not that at all. You know what I mean? So you're not, there's nothing there. It's not like you're leaving something behind. There's nothing there. Okay, so if you needed that confirmation, there you go. And it's actually that kind of clear cut decision that is now finally manifesting this person and this offer into your life, whether it's love, whether it's business, whatever it is. It is that clear cut decision of you seeing yourself in your power of, okay, I may not have read this correctly. However, I see the truth now. It's not what I deserve. I will not have this end of story. And that confidence within yourself that you are making the right choice for yourself because you, you deserve better. There's no if and buts about it. That clarity of focus and clarity of mind and determination is what finally pushes that manifestation in the direction that you've been trying to take it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So we're looking at breakthroughs here. It may suck as you're going through it and you might not understand why it's happening. The Ten of Swords, right? It, it's, that's not an easy energy, let's be honest. However, this says follow through, follow the change through because it will take you right here, where you want to be, okay? So let's see, let's get more information here. What's this Ace of Swords in the past? Love me, okay. Page of Pentacles, yeah, an offer made. And you're seeing the truth about that offer. It was supposed to be something stable. It was supposed to be something Someone offered you a job, someone offered you support, money, help. I'll always be there for you. And truth was revealed. No, they're not. No, they're not. Why? This King of Wands in the foundation. Page of Wands, yeah. They oversold. They're a page. They're not even a king. They're a page. Talk big and then they don't know what else to do with it. Right? They know how to talk. But when you're like, okay, show me. That's it. That's all they got. They don't, they don't, they don't know what else to do. They don't know what to do. They can talk. That's it. Okay. The magician crowning you. Eight of pentacles. There was talk about, let's do this. Let's work on this. Let's build this. But the Eight of Pentacles is, again, it's still, it's an apprentice energy. Two pages and the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who is very immature, I don't care how old they are. Immature, they have this idealistic view on life and how the world should work. It's someone who's kind of, they haven't experienced life. I don't care how old they are. It's someone who, they live in their own head and in their own scenarios. You know these people? that God bless and no judgment, but you know the people who in your own head, you're like, oh yeah, if this ever happened, I would do this and I would do that. And then when that happens, they don't do anything. They're like, okay. Oh, if that ever happened to me, I would say this and this and the other. And then there you go, it happened. And they say nothing, nothing. That kind of person, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. The Ten of Swords in the near future. Yeah. <laughs> Death card. That's it. You're done. Nope. Just nope. 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 Mm -mm. Nope. Four Pentacles. I'm taking my toys and I'm going away. You go away. I'll go this way. You go that way. And you forget you ever knew me. Nope. You ain't having this Pentacle. Nope. And listen. Don't beat yourself up, Taurus. If you believed what they said, if you started to invest in it or started working towards it, whatever that means, right? Don't beat yourself up. This was a lesson. And not only was it a lesson, it was what you needed to gain that clarity of mind and that strength within yourself to just not doubt yourself when it comes to this. That's, that's very powerful. Because we can make decisions, but we always 
Do you know what I mean? Because we're, we're people, right? We're human. We always say, well, I hope I'm doing the right thing. I think this is the right decision, but I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Or, yeah, I'm sure. And then back of our minds, it's like, yeah, but what if? There is no what if going on here, Taurus. And that's very freeing, isn't it? Very empowering. Full speed ahead. And where are you headed? Exactly to where you want. And not only where you want, but where you deserve to be. Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords. Yep. Manifestation for you was start and stop. It was suspended. It was tricky. This is the turning point. This is the turning point. This Ace of Pentacles in your environment. Two Cups. Balanced partnership. Fair partnership. Healthy give and take. Genuine. Open and honest. And I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if it's a place to live. I don't care if it's a love offer. I don't care if it's a friendship. Whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest for yourself, that's exactly what is coming in that you don't see. And that is the reason why you're having to go through the mess so that you gain that clarity of mind, so that you gain that focus and that strength to use that sword, cut ties, not even think about it. Okay, now this can't come in unless this happens first. Does that make sense? Because this is what it takes to push you to that clarity, okay? The Emperor in Hopes and Fears, Seven of Wands. This person will fight for your attention. The Emperor knows what he, want, what he wants or she wants, okay, if it's male or female. The Emperor knows what they want And they go for it. They, they, they won't take no for an answer. Let me put it that way. Okay. Um, with the three of swords, I'm seeing you be in like two minds about it. I can pick up the cards. Oh, perfect. Okay. Your heart is like, yeah, but then your mind, because that's what the swords are in the heart, right? Your mind is like, but what about this? Have you forgotten about this? Three swords in the outcome, justice. This is what you deserve. This is karma. This is victory. Again, balanced, balanced, healthy, fair. Page of swords, knight of swords at the bottom. This person, I, for some of you, this person from your past is still going to try to talk to you. Be careful with that because seriously, do you, I mean, again, if you're unless you go through this mess to get to this clarity where it's done and you don't question yourself, this is not going to come in. And if this comes in and you still entertain the past, this will go away. So caution there, Taurus. For others, this is where you're cautious. You're doing a lot of thinking. So I'm going to caution you against, because we also have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're doing a lot of thinking. There's a lot of swords here. Thinking slash overthinking. You're not allowing yourself to feel it out. Okay? So what I want to say is, feel it out. Take a chance. Try it out. See how you feel. Keep your eyes open. You're not dumb. You're not weak. You're not going to get overwhelmed or tricked. Trust yourself. However, give it a chance. Because I feel like this person will fight for you. Okay, this emperor energy. But if you fight this every step of the way, it'll create conflict and I feel like that's going to go away. So just be careful there. Ten of Wands, don't let the past hurt your present and your future. This is what you want. This is what you deserve. This is what you wished for. Okay, so give it a chance. Take your time. The Page of Swords is someone who investigates, right? He entertains things. He's cautious about it and he observes what happens, but he entertains things. He lets them play out, see what happens. And that's your advice, Taurus, okay? If this is in anything to do with the legal system, anything to do with paperwork, 
this is contract. You're getting the contract, you're getting the legal win, you're getting the settlement, or you're getting the, um, what is it, compensation. Okay. But this is awesome. Okay, Taurus, so trust yourself. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. Trust yourself. If you are going through some mess, trust that there's a reason behind it. And trust how it makes you feel about yourself. If it gets you angry, that's, that's kind of a good thing. Because that gives you the fire to be like, okay, seriously, I need to do something about this. And then you can get to the clarity of mind, and then you can take action with it. Does that make sense? So, I'll leave it there. Let me know. You let me know what's going on for you. If this is going on, I hope this helps you. Um, looking forward to your thoughts and your feedback. Again, watch all your signs. Make the most of the month. This is amazing. It is the turning point, so I hope that most of you resonate with this and it applies for you and you see it through okay so i'll leave it there i'll see you very soon bye for now